Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm creating this look, um, which is a bit it's a bit heavier, so maybe not a daytime look, but that's for you to decide. Um, the colors I've used are mostly purple colors, a range of colors, and uh, yeah, purple and plum, I would say. Um, anyways, uh, I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to comment below if anything. And uh, yeah, thank you. See you later. To start this off, I'm using Lorex behind the scenes primer and then I'm applying some L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadow as my base and the color Coconut Shake, I believe. Yeah, Coconut Shake. And now I'm using Isadora's Triple Eyeshadow Palette in the color Frosty Mauve. I can't pronounce that exactly. But that I'm just using the metal color, which was a light purple, I would say. And I'm just buffing that in, in my crease and the leftovers I'm using on the lid. decided to use the color Plum from the Laura Pro Palette 2 in uh, both my crease in a bit but also or mainly on the lid. I'm going from the out outer V into the half if you get what I mean. <laughs> yeah well you'll see in the video also by just covering the half of my eyelid with this darker Plum shade. Now over to the other corner of my eyes, uh, I'm using the color beige from the same palette, Laura Pro uh, palette number 2, and here I'm just patting that color on, just to give it a more awakening look, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Now it was time for liner, and oh, this day was not my liner day, everything one bad oh I don't know even why but I did not like my liner today but oh well here you have that part at least <laughs> now just for some touch-ups before I go over to my brows and remove the tape. So I'm just blending the cor all the corners out because I don't want any sharp edges. Now it's time for brows. I'm using LA Colors Brow Kit. I'm using the middle color which is a dark brown on the on the how shall I put it? on the end of the brows and the blonde color at the beginning of the brows and that I am setting with a brow gel from uh, City Colors now off with the tape this is a really sticky tape so you really need to be careful because it's, an, it's a really soft skin around your eyes so you don't hurt yourself or something. And now it's time for face. I already applied my primer which is the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. And now I'm using my L'Oreal's True Match in the color Cream Beige.
Now it's time for concealer. I'm using LA Girls uh, HD Pro Concealer in the color Classic Ivory, I believe. Yeah, it is. Uh, this I'm using around my under my eyes, around my nose, on my forehead, around my mouth mostly. Yeah, and uh, on the top of my lip. Also, this I'm blending out with my Beauty Blender. And to set all of that, I'm using Rimmel's Stay Matte Powder in the color 001, transparent, that I'm just dabbing on my face because I don't want the foundation I just put on to move around too much. <laughs> To give my really pale face some color, I'm using Isadora's bronzing powder in the color matte tan with my uh, powder brush from Real Techniques. Now I want to do to do some contour. I'm using these two colors, which are the darkest one in this palette, and just buffing that in. As I've said in my previous videos, I'm concentrating this step mainly up by my ear and then I go down. Using circular motions again, I'm going down to my lip. Not all the way, but down to my lip. So concentrate up by the ear and down. my powder brush from Echo Tools. Uh, I'm using this one to contour even more but to avoid the sharp edges that I really do not want. For blush I'm using Forever Nude palette by BH Cosmetics. I really do love these blushes because they give you a great combination between pink and peach, which I love. Highlighting time! I'm using Isadora's Face Sculptor in the color Warm Peach. And here I'm just highlighting with my fan brush from BH Cosmetics. mascara I'm using is, like always, Jordana Best Volume Extreme Volumizing Mascara. Now this I'm just applying one coat because I'm putting on some falsies at the end. Plum, which I'm going to apply underneath my eyes and this really do does give such a beautiful effect to the entire eye look I personally think but I think that you should try it out yourself and see if it suits you and if you like it because it gives a more a heavier makeup look but it really does give it a beautiful effect Now I'm using Ardell's, uh, oh, the name of these, Accent or Accent, no, Accent, it should be Accent, in, the, in 301 Black, with the duo Lash Blue. And here I am giving you a failed example of uh, me putting on some false lashes. <laughs> uh, this is not my strong suit, I tell you, which you can see also.
as lip liner I'm using Jordana uh, Cool Kayol lip liner in the color magenta which I believe is a really beautiful color but is a it is one shade lighter than the uh, lipstick I'm using the lipstick I'm using here is a matte one which I love it's from Wet n Wild and the color is 908C Sugar Plum Fairy. As you can see it's a it's a dark plum cherry cherry look <laughs> like in that color range I would say. I love this. It stays on forever and it really does look elegant and beautiful. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions or anything, just leave a comment below. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe and uh, uh, click the like, the thumbs up button. <laughs> I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you uh, in my next video. Bye!